Welcome to the RAF Museum in London. We're here today to unveil the London element of the Wargaming.net supported Dornier Interpretation Zone. In the Battle of Britain Hall behind me, the public can get to grips with the conservation itself, take part in conserving this unique aircraft. Since the lift last June, the aeroplane has been transported to Cosford and she's now in two hydration tunnels. The uh, fuselage is in one tunnel, the wings in the other one, and we're constantly coating it with a citric acid solution. The intention there is to uh, purge the aggressive chloride salts on the structure and make it sober enough for display. There's a lot of work being done on recovering metal objects from the sea, but not very much on aluminium. So aluminium doesn't normally survive for this long. So they're, in conservation, typically they use very mild acids. So things like vinegar and lemon juice and carbonic acid, all those stuff that, we can, that are natural, they're not very aggressive. So basing it on one of those types of formulations was where we started. This is very much um, new science when we're pioneering a new methodology, a new technology, but it's progressing exceptionally well. We've managed to clean the uh, fuselage exterior so far. We're now focusing on the interior of the fuselage plus the wings. But so far, we're very, very encouraged. My role in the project is to conserve the smaller artefact components so they come out of the tunnel, they get logged, photographed, and then they get worked on by a team of, our, team of volunteers. Well, the Dornier is um, obviously an original aeroplane, and it's the only Dornier that we know of anywhere in the world. To restore it back to pristine condition, like the aeroplane you see around you here, there's no point in doing that. We wouldn't have an original aeroplane anymore. So the emphasis very much is on conservation rather than restoration. So the, the Hurricane is a wreck that was shot down in uh, 1940, Battle of Britain. The Dornier will be very much conserved and displayed as, as discovered. And we're also now helping them in trying to understand how to treat the surface once we've cleaned it. So once it's been cleaned and stabilised and you've got the artefact in its metallic state again and stable, but once you're going to put it on display, you want to have some kind of coating on there. So we're looking a little bit at the different types of coating, so waxes or polishes that can just help as a buffer to increase the lifetime and keep it in the right condition. As part of our partnership with Wargaming, we've shared the Dornier with the world. There are hundreds of virtual Dorniers at locations across the globe. The Wargaming community have been taking photos of these Dorniers and sharing them via the Dornier website. We're really excited to be able to reach out to new audiences using this exciting new technology. As a company, we're very proud to obviously be part of the Dornier project. We've always, always had a great passion for history in wargaming and education as well, and the two really go hand in hand, so it's been absolutely fantastic to be part of this.